Tuscaloosa County softball coach Barrett Beasley and his star pitcher Alyssa Faircloth to AHSAA TV Weekly. Coach, uh, Alyssa, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, playing last week in the uh, area tournament was not an easy task because it's got some of the top softball teams in the state, but y'all came out, y'all emerged as a, as, a, uh, as a champs. Tell us a little bit about last week's area tournament. Well, we felt good going in. Uh, we played really uh, tough against each one of those opponents uh, through the regular season. And uh, so we, uh, you know, our, our bats come alive during the tournament and uh, it really helped us out. And of course, Alyssa pitched great and we just, uh, you know, very proud of her. Speaking of Alyssa, uh, Alyssa, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, what, is, what has she brought to this team, Coach, this year? We know what a great pitcher she is, but what has she brought to this team outside the pitching? Well, she's one of our uh, team captains. She's a leader. You know, even when things are going uh, tough sometimes, she, she uh, kind of sells everybody down and gets everybody back on the right path. And, you know, she's just brought a lot of leadership to our team, uh, not only – uh, just how she works outside of practice, but during practice. Alyssa, last year you led Holy Spirit to a state championship, and now you're sitting there ready to, to, to tackle a much tougher, uh, I would say much much tougher league, but uh, tell us a little bit about pitching in Class 7A this year and, and, and how's that adjustment been? Um, I feel like I've, I played some pretty good competition in travel ball, so coming into it in school ball, it was like it's, there's definitely a difference between 1A and 7A, but it wasn't that big of a jump because I was playing it in the summer and in the fall season at travel ball, and I've loved having the higher competition. And, uh, it's really challenged me to become better as a pitcher too. What about having a whole new team of teammates to get used to and so forth? Have you played with some of these, these girls in the summer as well? I actually played with a couple of them. Like I played with Elena when I was like four years old. So I played with a couple of them over the years. Um, but they they were really welcoming and have been really nice, and it made it easy. It an easy transition. Coach Beasley, we know we 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 understand that you that you've said that she's really become a strong leader on this on this team. What makes her such a strong leader? Well, I mean, of course, uh, when when we're on the field. You know, she she did, she does every rep that we ask her to do. I mean, I can turn my back. She's still doing the same thing. You know, you don't have to uh, watch her all the time. She's going to do what she's supposed to do, and she does more. You know, she's the last, first one to get there, last one to leave, that type of person. So she leads by example always. I guess one of the hardest things is keeping your fielders awake when you're striking out 18 and 19 a game. Well, uh, it, has a our, it has helped our uh, – Fielding percentage. That sure has. Uh, and of course, now, uh, what about the region tournament? There's four really great teams in it, and and nobody can have an off game. Uh, what does Tuscaloosa County have to do to to go into the region tournament, the East Region tournament, and uh, and come out of there? What uh, you want to go? Well, I go. We'll go ahead. Both of you can answer it. We just got to hit. We got to we got to get people on, and we got to be able to score the runners. Whereas we can't leave any runners straight in on base. That's right. Every game that we play, like when our in our area or now, is like a uh, uh, a playoff game, you know. And of course, it's regionals. But you know, every game we play is tough. Every opponent's going to be tough, and we have to be on our A game. You know, the person that makes the mistake usually uh, is the one that might lose the ball game. So we had to uh, really prepare. With a list of pitching, a one nothing lead is pretty big, but a two or three nothing lead is uh, really big, isn't it? It, there's no doubt. If we can give her a couple of runs, a lot of times we can win the ball game. And uh, but you know, uh, if we can get up our sticks going like they did in the area play, it's really going to help her. Now, listen. What would you tell little girls that's just thinking, just playing softball as a six or seven year old, and you've come a long way to be the pitcher that you are, and of course you're going to be a great pitcher in college. Uh, what would you tell a young girl th they're going to have to do if they want to be where you are right now? You got to put in the extra work. You can't always just do what you have to do in practice. You, if you want to be as good, you got to put in work outside of practice in the weight room and extra reps and lessons and stuff like that. Now, what about going to Ch Chocolaca Park? That's hard to say, Coach. Chocolaca Park, but it's a beautiful place, a great, a great opportunity, a great atmosphere for, for high school softball. Uh, this is really a big moment for Tuscaloosa County's softball program, isn't it? It is. Uh, we have been in a few years, and, you know, we're glad to be in regionals, but our, right. our goal is to, you know, always to win a state championship sure. each year, no matter uh, what we how we start. And uh, we put us in ourselves in a good position to get there, and, you know, hopefully we'll end up there. 
Yeah, your first start is you got to go to Albertville, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, good luck to y'all this week, Coach, in Albertville. Listen, good luck to you and the rest of your team, and we wish you good luck and hope to see you at Chocolaca Park next week. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more AHSA Weekly right after this.